All right, guys. So I pretty much have everything masked off and masked up in the garage. I got a little vent going on here. Um, gonna be painting the inside. Gotta mix up the paint. I'm just using Rust-Oleum Black. Uh, probably do two to one mix. Gonna go ahead and degrease tack cloth. Hit it with a light coat with um, a Harbor Freight gun. And I have a Husky air compressor. You guys probably seen me use it a couple times. I guess my Harbor Freight gun, I didn't clean it out very good the last time I used it and it was gunked up. So I ended up taking it all apart. I soaked it in some acetone for like two days, made sure I got everything out, but I guess that wasn't enough. I mean, if you can tell the spray patterns are very blotchy and I, I, messed with a whole bunch of settings hoping that it would um get better but it didn't get better so it's very orange peely as you can see there but i'm not gonna stop using it i'm just gonna go ahead and lay down two more coats and um i'll let it fully cure got a bug right there but i'll let it fully cure and i'll just cut and buff it and polish it up and hopefully get the result that I was looking for. And this is sticking, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out about taping that up. And this probably didn't even get sprayed over there. Let's see. So, <laughs> I had the, uh, oh my god, I had the molding on top of the, the door here, so I could paint it, <laughs> and uh, when I went to go paint the, the inside of the door, I opened it with forgetting that it was on top of that, and it totally fell, hit the water, um, I wiped it off a little bit and then I kind of threw a wet coat on there. Hopefully it's savable. Uh, it's probably going to have pretty bad reaction, but um, hopefully I can just throw a few more coats on there and save it. Uh, this filter is working great. Um, painted the side mirrors. First tacky coat. Well, the second coat laid on pretty good honestly I adjusted the gun a couple more times and seems to be doing the trick um, I think I got some paint left in here I really don't even know probably mix up another batch and pour it in there and let this flash for a little bit and hit it with another coat and call it a night
So I just laid down the last coat and I think this is gonna be it for me. Um, it is super orange peel and I wanna blame the gun, honestly. I, I think I just, like I said, didn't clean it out well enough and spraying with the Harbor Freight gun, it, it just, I mean, it is what it is. Um, good thing about Rust-Oleum is you can cut and buff it. So hopefully I can make it look decent. At least it's all one color now, the whole car. And I dropped this thing again when I was painting the fender. I backed up into it and it fell in the water and I didn't even care. I wiped it down a little bit and threw some more coats on it. And I even got some on my wall. So I'm gonna have to grab my spare paint and paint over that or just go ahead and wipe it off with some with a rag I really don't know I really don't care I'm over it at this point um the side mirrors pretty orange peeling they're a little more shinier these are actually a little more shinier too um the inside of the door I honestly can't even tell you it's hopefully okay I I really don't know but um I'm gonna let it sit overnight let it dry and um, take this all down tomorrow. So it's been all night. Gotta see how it looks like and take all the stuff down. Yep, it's dried. It's ugly, but it is dry. You know, for dropping this thing like three freaking times, this did not come out that bad. Let's drop it again. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Take all this down. And I'll probably, you know, this fender came out. Not too bad. You can see some imperfection, but this whole car sim has imperfection. I mean, it's dented up. And if I was gonna repaint the whole car, I would have, definitely done a better job but because i was only doing the fenders and the driver's side door i thought that this was plenty of work on it i just wanted it to match the whole car better <laughs> sit out in the sun let it bake let it cure for probably like a week or so make sure it's dry dried before i start cutting and polishing and um hopefully it will match up a little better if i have the time i'll cut and polish the whole car or just at least buff and polish the car um I was only fixing this up to, you know, bring it back to life and add a little bit more value to it and hopefully get a little bit more money's worth out of this thing because it honestly is a really nice car. If I was to keep it and if it was to be mine, I would have did a lot more. I mean, this whole car has dents and dings 
all over it and I left this one alone. I mean, there used to be two huge dents here. And like I said, it's, it's not gonna be my forever car, so at least it's not as big of an eyesore anymore. So it's been a couple weeks since that last clip you guys saw of me putting everything back together. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys how it came out. It's kind of dewy from the morning, but it's still pretty orange peely. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to actually wet sand it down and probably throw a couple more coats on it. I actually missed a few spots um, like here on the inner side mirror. I completely missed all that. And <laughs> the inside of the door, I missed all this right here. And while I've been driving, I also have seen that when I'm getting in and out of the car. So I'm probably gonna spray that too i'll uh, give you guys a little update i got these seat covers from ebay and i mean they don't really look that bad but they do the job and they protect the bottom of these seats and they cover the massive rip that's in it so that's what i ended up doing and they work pretty good and I did end up taking some stickers off. I forgot to film it because I've been so busy, but it looks a lot better in the back end. But yeah, I still need to redo these wheels. I'm just gonna repaint them all black and probably throw some coils on them, lower the car and call it that. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching this video and Stay tuned and hit that subscribe and hit that notification to be posted on my next video.